dear students, I will continue the solution of the problem uh, we discussed in the previous uh, uh, step that is 1 minus x square into y2 minus of x into y1 and minus 2 is equal to 0. Then we apply that uh, nth order derivative 1 minus x square y2 that is for n and minus x into y1 that is n 2 and then n that is equal to 0. That means each term for nth order derivative we are taking then this I will take it as v and this I will take it as u. Then what is the uh, value uh, differentials of these uh, functions that we have to identify. So u equal to y2 in this case and v equal to 1 minus x square. Then in the second case, in the second case u is equal to y1 and v is equal to x. You can also interchange but uh, in this way if you take we will go according to Leibniz theorem uh, the uh, first term as u and next term as v. Uh, for uh, rough calculation you can call it as v as uh, vanishing function and u, uh, u for existing function. Therefore, u into v that is n times that is u n v plus n c 1 u n minus 1 v 1 plus so on plus up to u into v n. I will exactly apply according to that and here what is differentiation? So, v 1 is equal to minus 2 x v 2 is equal to minus 2 and v3 is equal to 0. According to this you make combination in that theorem that is un is equal to y un means u is y2 un is add n that is n plus 2 un minus 1 because this is the next term you have to apply then it comes one number less that is y n plus 1. Next is u n minus 2 that is equal to replace n by n minus 2 that is y n. u n minus 3 is not required because here there are 3 terms and you have to make 3 terms combination. There also uh, first term, second term, third term that means 3 terms are sufficient. Okay. This is for first product and for second product, second product u is y1 that means v1 is 1 and v2 is 0. That means x differentiation is 1, 1 differentiation is 0. Then u n is equal to y n plus 1 and u n minus 1 is equal to that is n minus 1 you have to choose that is y n. Here only two terms exist and two terms you have to write that is u n and u n minus 1. Okay. So, now I will apply and another term this one 2 that is 2 n times that is equal to 0. That means differentiation of the constant for n times that is equal to 0. Even first time itself is 0 but n times it is 0. Then by Leibniz theorem we have this is 1 minus x square into 1 minus x square means that is v here I have taken v as 1 minus x square and u n that is u n is y n plus 2 y n plus 2 and plus of n c 1 plus of n c 1 that is u n minus 1 u n minus 1 is uh, that is y n plus 1, but the differentiation is here minus 2 x into it is y n plus 1 plus n c 2 and the differentiation of that term gives us minus 2 and it is y n and plus of n c 3 that would not exist because uh, 2 differentiation becomes 0. Therefore, that you need not to write. Okay. This is flower bracket 
close for the first product. Now second product you take with the minus sign, okay? That is minus of x into this one. Uh, here instead of plus sign, you can write directly as minus sign. Then another floor bracket for the product of these two terms and x into y n plus 1 because u n and v, v is x and u is y1 whereas u n is y n plus 1 that is what I have written and v without differentiation x as it is then plus of n c 1 and u n minus 1 that is u n minus 1 is means one number less that is y n and x differentiation that is 1. Okay? So, this is second floor bracket is completed minus of 0 that is equal to 0 because differentiation of this constant for n times that becomes 0 that I have substituted. Now, what are these uh, binomial coefficients values that is n c 1 is equal to n, n c 2 this one n into n minus 1 into 1 divided by 2. According to this here 2 can be cancelled with this 2 and n c 1 is equal to n is there. Let me write the simplification 1 minus x square it is y n plus 2 minus of 2 n n c 1 is n that is x into y n plus 1 and minus of it is n into n minus 1 this 2 can be cancelled with this already I told you and along with minus sign that is y n. Now I will re release the bracket I will take this minus sign inside x into y n plus 1 minus into plus minus and n c 1 is n into y n this is equal to 0. Now the application of uh, Leibniz theorem part is over. Now only thing is that uh, you have to simplify. Okay, Then 1 minus x square it is y n plus 2. Here you can notice uh, y n plus 1 and y n plus 1 here two terms are there along with the product x is there. Okay, So and here minus sign is there 2n and minus sign is there. Can I write this one as minus of 2n plus 1? I think it is correct. That is x into yn plus 1. What I did is this product I kept it outside, minus sign I kept it outside, 2n plus 1 I have written here. Okay. Then from this simplification, this is a bit important one, minus sign from both. Actually you can think like this this is n plus 1, this is n plus 1, this is n only, this is n only. I am taking the common factors. n into n, it is n square. n into minus n, a minus 1, that is n. And here, that is minus n is there. Okay. Then, uh, n minus 2, that is n minus 1, we must get okay. n into, and one more is there. I think y n this is one term right y n and then x into y n plus 1. Uh, of course, uh, another term was there here another term this is 2 y then 2 y means that is 2 y this is y n we have to write then minus of 2 y n then this is 2 y n. Okay. Uh, uh, then it becomes 2 y n or uh, 2 into y 2 into y n times that is 2 times y n. Okay. Then it will be minus 2 that is minus 2 of multiplied by y n that is equal to 0. Then you can simplify that is 1 minus x square into y n plus 2 minus of it is 2 n plus 1 x into y n plus 1 and minus n into this is 2 n is there. Okay. Uh, n plus uh, n plus 1 whole square otherwise you can take uh, minus sign that is n square minus as it is also you can write 2 n and minus 2 that is y n equal to 0. I think the answer 
which we have to verify that is uh, sin inverse x that is minus n square minus n square y that means 2 n 2 n uh, and one more uh, n will be cancelled. So, that becomes uh, n square minus 2 n minus 2 y n. Otherwise, if that is the term, this will be the answer like that also you can conclude. So, uh, from the product, uh, the result is to be derived according to application of Leibniz theorem. Now, I will choose one more problem quickly. I will finish this uh, uh, application of uh, Leibniz theorem, whatever the answer uh, that is given that we have to prove according to the given function. Let me take another example on this application of Leibniz theorem. If y is equal to <coughs> tan inverse x, if y is equal to tan inverse x prove that prove that 1 plus x square y n plus 2 plus of 2 into n plus 1 x into y n plus 1 plus n into n plus 1 it is y n equal to 0. Same type you proceed, but here it is not whole square, but only single term it is given. Let us uh, try how this uh, problem uh, behaves. So, the given function y is equal to tan inverse of x. Then the maximum derivative here also you have to take it as plus 2. Therefore, y1 is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus x square. Then before going to the next derivative 1 plus x square into y1. Uh, equal to 1. 1 plus x square means cross multiplication I had taken because tan inverse differentiation d by dx of tan inverse x is equal to 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus x square. That means 1 by 1 plus x square is the value for differentiation of tan inverse function. That is what I have written and then I took the cross multiplication. Now, up to I have to move up to y2 then 1 plus x square one more time I am doing the differentiation plus 2x into y1 is equal to 0. Uh, you have only comfortable number of terms as 2 only 2 terms are there that we will carry out. Then uh, differentiating n times x square 1 plus x square y2 and this is for uh, n times plus 2 into x into y1 that is for n times that is equal to 0. Each product once again, so looking to the problem uh, uh, and the Leibniz theorem details, you can directly write this product according to the terms appear for first three terms, it is possible because if when x square is there first three terms it will give and x is there first two terms it will give like that. So, we will verify by Leibniz theorem, by Leibniz theorem, uh, this is for n times by Leibniz theorem, we will take this as v and we will take this as u and we will take this as v and u. You can also interchange, but uh, why I have taken is I can move like this only, keeping u n first and then v next and last term that is u without differentiation and v with n times differentiation. Now, this is 1 plus x square into y2 gives for n times as n plus 2 and plus of nc1 that is 1 plus x square is 2x and then y n plus 1 and uh, n plus 1 plus of nc2 differentiation that means every bracket you just go on differentiating it and every derivative you go on uh, making uh, one number less the suffixes that is n plus 2, n plus 1 and then it is y n like that one number less. Here 
uh, differentiation should be written completely. Here next term will not exist because constant differentiation is 0 plus of it is 2 times this product x into it is y n plus 1 plus of n c 1 uh, plus of n c 1 and uh, x differentiation is 1 according to v according to v 1 according to v I have written x according to v 1 I am writing x differentiation as 1 and one number less that is y n that is equal to 0. Let me simplify this part ok 1 plus x square 1 plus x square this is y n plus 2 plus of 2 and n c 1 is this is n that is 2 n x into it is y n plus 1 plus of it is 2 then n c 2 2 into n c 2 means uh, 2 gets cancelled that is n into n minus 1 it is y n and plus of it is 2 into x into y n plus 1 n c 1 is again n then this is n into n minus 1 by 2 thereby these two cancels then n plus 1 uh, and further that is 2 is also multiplied it is 2 into y n so that is equal to 0. So now we will simplify uh, similar to the previous problem n plus 1 here and n plus 1 here and n is here this is a common factor and this is also a common factor we will write that 1 plus x square that is y n plus 2 plus of it is 2 n this is the term and uh, 2 I will take common that is 2 times n plus 1 2 times n plus 1 and the product that is x into y n plus 1 and plus of uh, n into n minus 1 and 2 that is n square and minus n and plus of 2 that is uh, plus of 2 y n 2 y n and here that is n into n minus 1 where we did that is 1 plus x square ok and 1 plus x square y 2 plus 2 x into y 1 then the differentiation that is uh, for the first product 1 plus x square into y n plus 2 plus n into uh, 2 times that is n into x into y n plus 1 and one more term that is n into n minus 1 that is y n and uh, up to here it is ok then 2 into that is x plus uh, x into y n plus 1 so that is over now n into uh, n n into n minus 1 right and this is y n that is 2 n here 2 n y n because this 2 and n c 1 is n 2 n so you have to write like 2 n that is y n equal to 0. Next simplification 1 plus x square it is y n plus 2 and plus of 2 into n plus 1 product x into y n plus 1 and plus of here n square and minus n plus 2 n that is n square plus n into y n equal to 0. So, 1 plus x square that is y n plus 2 plus 2 into n plus 1 x into it is y n plus 1 plus of n into n plus 1 it is y n equal to 0 this is your required result. That means uh, statement of the problem is given and the answer is to be proved because your question is there answer is there and this is the answer which is to be proved using Leibniz theorem. So, that individual term you just go on observing. So, like this, this topic you can continue by uh, 
uh, identifying the problems from every textbook which contains Leibniz theorem applications, right? Rest of the problems you can solve by using the same type of uh, application of Leibniz theorem using binomial coefficients and then simplification. So, now I would like to stop up to this uh, the topic of nth order differentiation. Now, I will move on to the next uh, discussion of the same module that is polar curves and that is another very important uh, geometrical system where we need to convert some problems of engineering where we cannot solve some problems in uh, Cartesian form then we need to convert the geometrical structure in the form of polar coordinate system. Let me uh, give in brief what is what is the meaning of uh, Cartesian and what is the meaning of polar system that is more important when we cannot solve uh, certain problems with uh, uh, existing uh, variables like uh, Cartesian variables and uh, parametric variables. So, we need to convert to another geometry that is with respect to the fixed uh, point we call it as a pole then it is named as polar system. Therefore, polar form otherwise polar curves. You can make a reference in your syllabus. This is the second part of uh, differentiation and the next part of differentiation is uh, we have to move on to the discussion on uh, partial differentiation and then applications. Okay? That is partial differentiation uh, before that applications with respect to one variable uh, the Maclaurin series and Taylor series. Now, what about this polar curves introduction? You have already uh, studied in uh, one of the topics where uh, the geometrical structure is to be changed uh, as I mentioned from existing system to the polar system. What is the existing system? Now, the existing system is this. For example, if you take this is XOY system. This is called XOY plane. XOY plane. That means this is all the area. This that means this is the first quadrant. This is the second quadrant, and this is the third quadrant, and this is the fourth quadrant. Where we need to convert this uh, geometrical structure into some fixed point because we cannot uh, uh, take up the solutions of certain problems which are explained in the form of x and y then we need to convert in the form of polar coordinates. So, what do you mean by polar coordinates? This is O in the uh, this is called Cartesian coordinate system. Cartesian coordinate system. Okay. Cartesian coordinate system means y is equal to f of x otherwise x and y as Cartesian coordinates. In any manner you can understand this is all about Cartesian, but our now requirement is polar. Why we have to change? That means, for example, when we cannot see uh, uh, the, for example, uh, myself I am using the spectacle, then I cannot see the letters with a small font that means smaller size, then I need to go for some other alternate arrangement just like that geometrical structure. When we cannot solve certain problems like uh, uh, in the existing coordinates whatever it is given then we need to convert with respect to the fixed pole that is called a uh, polar coordinate system. So, what we do in this polar coordinate system means here we locate one point and then we draw a line from this, this line is a vector and this makes the angle as theta this makes the angle as theta then I will call it as P of R comma theta. Then existing system graph whatever you plot on x o y system is called Cartesian graph. Now we, this is called in the existing system as origin, origin in Cartesian system, but in polar coordinate system when I take this, when I take this uh, uh, radius vector starts from initial line the x axis is always called initial line in the polar coordinates 
initial line, otherwise starting line. Then I need to convert, rotate like this, when it completes one cycle of operation that becomes 0 to 360 degree. Then this theta is called vectorial angle, theta is called vectorial angle and the length is called r units, this is called magnitude. In the polar coordinates, this is called pole. Even you can easily compare with uh, the game in the uh, one of the games in uh, sports that is called Coco. In that Coco game, uh, one fixed pole will be there. So, every person uh, will take uh, uh, the destiny as a go, uh, pole and then he has to touch and he has to take round of that and then he has to run to another pole. Therefore, uh, it is just like that with respect to this fixed point and we have to rotate. We have to rotate either in the clockwise direction or in the anti-clockwise direction. But we have to take in the anti-clockwise direction because our vectorial angle starts from this theta is equal to 0 degree here and theta is equal to pi by 2 and so on. Already previously I have discussed. Then if this is the system, then I will drop perpendicular on this, then I will drop perpendicular on y axis. So, what this system defines from the conversion from existing to the polar system. Therefore, polar transformations, polar transformations are x equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta. These are the two polar transformations where we uh, we have to understand x is a function of r comma theta and y is a function of r comma theta. Then that means uh, r is said to be radius vector, r is said to be radius vector, radius vector having the magnitude as r units then this, these are the coordinates of the point, then theta is called vectorial angle, vectorial angle. Okay. So, when this, this is the change, this is the conversion, then what are the corresponding simplifications we have to think of? That means, x square plus y square is equal to r square x square plus y square is equal to r square. That means, r is a function of x comma y and theta is equal to tan inverse of y divided by x. These are the uh, polar transformations results. Results of polar transformations are those two values. This is called uh, modulus value and this is called amplitude value. So, amplitude means it is a vectorial angle. Modulus means it is a magnitude from the origin how much length it occupies. So, that measures the value of r. This is called polar curve, this is called polar transformation from Cartesian to the polar form. So, what we study in this uh, subject because uh, details um, as per the syllabus uh, uh, complete details is uh, not mentioned, but I shall uh, touch upon, I shall uh, take a reference to touch upon the things what are more important in this topic is like this, one is angle between, angle between radius vector, angle between radius vector and the tangent. And second, uh, this equation is tan phi is equal to r times d theta by dr. This is our very important equation. Second one, <coughs> angle between radius vector and the tangent is the first equation and here another uh, equation is called pedal equation that is uh, locus of the tangent, pedal equation it gives. The equation is uh, pedal equation most of the times it is called PR equation. This equation will help us uh, to find the slope of uh, any of the engineering structures, slope of the engineering structures which will be defined in the form of uh, 
uh, uh, a degree of bentness, then its locus can be expected in the form of pedal form. That pedal equation is 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square plus 1 by r to the power of 4, then dr divided by d theta whole square. This is very important where p is equal to r sin phi. This is called pedal equation. These two equations you uh, concentrate more on this because I will solve the problem on this, these two equations, how these equations can be applied in the form of uh, the uh, calculation of uh, angle between two curves and whereas here this is angle between radius vector and the tangent. But here one note is there, if this is for one set one curve in the polar form. That means y equal to f of x is Cartesian form of the curve and with this r equal to f of theta is called the polar form representation of the curve. Any curve you plot in this area that will be y equal to f x Cartesian any curve if you plot using these coordinates, it is called polar form. Along with this polar form, these equations you have to practice. These equations you have to take as practical application. Then uh, here, for example, instead of one equation, so angle of intersection, angle of intersection between two curves. So, here uh, no problem I will take on uh, Cartesian form because your title is polar curves. Then here this is nothing but phi is equal to modulus phi 1 and modulus phi 2 this much where phi 1 where phi 1 is the angle is the angle of r1 equal to f of theta 1 and phi 2 is the angle of r2 equal to f of theta 2. Go through these details. These are the only equations which you have to focus more on that because we come across as a practical applications in engineering problems. Then uh, you need to understand this is only the one curve reference, this is also one curve reference, this is two curves reference, angle of intersection between two curves and all these three cases now I shall solve the problems, one one problem first I will solve, afterwards I will repeat, then you understand the uh, 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 working steps in the calculation of uh, angle between radius vector and the tangent in the first case and how pedal equation and where it is it has got the limitation where it is allowed where it is not allowed to use this uh, p this p is called a perpendicular length this p is called perpendicular length and r is called r is called length of the radius vector okay then so perpendicular length uh, in the case of that pedal equation it is uh, the already i told you that it is the locus then we will uh, solve the problems on the application of these three equations. Now, the first and uh, very, very important problem I am going to write now on the application of this equation for single curve and this equation for two curves of the same uh, type of uh, geometrical structure. So, the very, very familiar equation is find find the angle of angle between find the angle between find the angle between radius vector and the tangent radius vector and the tangent of the cardioid r equal to a into 1 plus cos theta. This is a very popular equation, very popular curve 
that you know it is heart shaped curve it is called cardioid solution given r equal to a into 1 plus it is cos theta. So, r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta we have a is a constant and uh, r is uh, radius vector and theta is the vectorial angle. This is very famous curve it is called cardioid cardioid and the shape of the curve you will get after plotting giving different values of theta different values of r you are getting then it goes like this this is even exactly it, it looks like a mango shape and it is heart shape it is called cardioid then this is x axis and uh, initial line this one in polar form initial line and this is y axis and the length of the radius vector from the theta is equal to 0 degree at the first angle this is length is 2a theta equal to 0 means cos 0 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 2 into a is 2 that means at theta is equal to 0 the length is 2a then if you take at theta is equal to pi by 4 that means 45 degrees cos 45 is 1 by root 2 then the length is a into 1 plus 1 by root 2 a into 1 plus 1 divided by root 2 this length and this length is called a units because at theta is equal to pi by 2 means 90 degree because this line is perpendicular to this one. So, theta equal to 90 means cos 90 is 0 then a into 1 is a units exactly half of this total length this is a units ok. Then similarly that is uh, here here theta is equal to uh, pi by 4, 2 pi by 4 and 3 pi by 4 this is nothing but this is nothing but a into 1 minus of 1 by root 2 and at theta is equal to plus pi 180 degree that means opposite of 0 pole opposite of 0 pole theta equal to 180 what is cos 180 cos 180 degree is minus 1 then minus 1 plus 1 is 0 then a equal to 0 this is the length of radius vector that means initially it has 2a initially when it comes to 45 that is the value when it comes to 90 degree that is the value when it comes to 180 degrees the length of the radius vector becomes 0 that means continuously it is decreasing but initially it has maximum length initially it has maximum length means r is equal to 2a so 2a is the maximum at theta is equal to 0 then it must go, go on it must go on uh, reducing that means length is uh, go, length goes on reducing when you go on giving higher values of theta. So, this is called cardioid. Now, the angle between radius vector and the tangent we have to calculate using this equation ok. So, r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta then uh, the equation is tan phi equal to r times d theta divided by dr using this equation what is the value of phi that is to be identified that phi is called angle between radius vector and the tangent of the polar curve ok. So, tangent of the polar curve means uh, you have to draw the tangent at that curve like this draw the tangent what is the angle. So, that is the value of phi. Then uh, r into d theta by dr means here r is a function of theta. Let me calculate dr by d theta first. That means differentiating r with respect to theta. What is the answer? a into this is 0 and minus of it is sin theta. This is equal to minus a sin theta. So, dr by d theta, d theta is equal to minus a sin theta. Now, you use this equation tan phi is equal to r times 
uh, dr by d theta is this value, but in the equation d theta by dr is there. You have to bring this to denominator minus a it is sin theta. So, this is your equation. What is the value of phi from this equation you have to calculate? What is the angle between here? This is the polar curve that is r equal to f of theta and this is the tangent drawn from the x axis that is from the initial line. What is the angle? That angle is nothing but this value phi. Then I will calculate the by substituting r equal to a into 1 plus cos theta r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta minus a sin theta. This a cancels then 1 plus cos theta you can write it as uh, sin theta uh, that is 1 plus cos theta in terms of uh, sin theta you have to write. So, how you are going to write? What is cos theta you can write? Uh, that is r okay r by a also you could have substituted otherwise r itself right. But in place of r I had taken like this. Now, sin theta uh, then cos theta you can write in terms of half angles. So, what is the answer? What is that uh, cos 2a? In one of the previous lectures we have used uh, the trigonometric identity. What is the value there? We have used cos 2a formula. What is that? Cos 2a in terms of cos that is cos theta cos 2a is equal to 1 uh, 2 cos square a 2 cos square a and uh, that is uh, 2 cos square a uh, minus 1 that becomes cos square a cos square a is equal to a, a equal to what otherwise 1 plus cos to 1 plus cos theta that is cos square a is equal to 1 plus cos of 2 theta divided by 2. This is the case. Now, here instead of 1 plus cos 2 theta, here we have cos theta that means half the angle. Here 2 is there, 1 is there, right. Then if 1 is there, then this must be a by 2, that is all cos square, okay. Then cos square uh, a divided by 2 is equal to 1 plus cos theta and divided by 2. So, like this we have to write. Okay. Then here uh, sin theta you can also express in terms of half angle. This is called half angles and sin theta also you can express 2 times. It should be what is the full form actually sin 2a is equal to 2 sin a into cos a. This is called full form, but half uh, angle sin theta that is instead of 2a, we are going to write a only. Then 2 times sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2. I will apply these two in this case. Now, 1 plus cos theta, what I have to write now? That is in place of this one, right? Uh, 1 plus cos theta means 1 plus cos theta and, uh, is equal to 2 times of this. You take cross multiplication. That is 2 times because a is already cancelled 2 times cos square 2 times cos square theta by 2 in place of a by 2 and here minus 2 times sin theta by 2 okay, and cos theta by 2. Now, I can cancel this. I can cancel this 2 I can cancel this cos and I will be getting that is tan phi is equal to minus cos theta by 2 divided by it is sin theta by 2. What is this value? This is minus of cot theta by 2 because cos by sin is cot. Then minus cot theta by 2. What is this? Uh, cot theta by 2 in terms of tan otherwise you can write tan also in terms of cot in any manner you can uh, uh, discuss therefore tan phi according to ASTC rule according to ASTC rule minus of cot that means all students take coffee all are positive but this is cot of minus theta by 2 will give us again uh, minus cot, but you cannot compare. 
So, in terms of tan you have to write what is that tan? Tan of it is pi by 2 plus it is theta by 2. So, tan of pi by 2 plus theta by 2 means here uh, pi by 2 means 90 degree that is here only sin and its reciprocal are positive rest are negative. So, rest are negative means cot is the rest of the function where sin is only positive other functions are negative. Therefore, pi is equal to pi by 2 plus it is theta by 2. This is your answer for uh, angle between radius vector and the tangent. So, this angle this angle is nothing but pi by 2 plus theta by 2. So, when we consider the uh, polar form of the curve this is cardiac angle between radius vector and the tangent will be 90 degree plus theta by 2. But how to calculate this one means left side is tan function and right side also you must take a proper simplification so that it must be converted in the form of tan function. Otherwise, uh, right side if it is caught then left side also you can express caught then compare the angles between these two trigonometric functions. So, this is one case and in the next problem same uh, situation I will use same situation, but I will write the intersection of these two cardiates. There are two cardiates I am going to write now. What are the values of these two cardiates and I will be using this formula intersection between two polar curves. Example, find the angle of intersection between two cardiads between two cardiads r equal to a into 1 plus cos theta and r equal to a into 1 minus cos theta. Now, the first formula I will be using as tan phi that is equal to r times d theta by dr and, and from that phi I will be taking this I will call it as phi 1 and similarly from another equation I will call it as same type of calculation then I will call it as phi 2. Afterwards the angle of intersection between these two curves is nothing but under modulus sign the value should be positive that is first angle minus of second angle. So, for this problem already 50 percent of the solution we have written. For this curve the angle is given by this one same thing I am going to notice as uh, pi by 2 plus theta by 2. Anyway, if you want to discuss through the curves, it will be like this. One cardiad will be like this. One cardiad that is for r equal to a into 1 plus cos theta. This is lying towards positive side. As I told you that already theta various values you will be getting r various various values when it takes anti clockwise direction length reduces. Then another curve you can expect like this another curve this is for r equal to a into 1 minus cos theta. So, this portion second curve and this portion first curve. This is called mirror image this because it is symmetric with respect to the initial line because theta is replaced by minus theta cos of minus theta remains to be same the curve is symmetric with respect to the initial line. Okay. This is called origin. Now, what is the intersection between these tangents? So, this is our calculation. This is a very important problem most of the times we take this as most of the times the, we take this as application problem and then we shall uh, discuss in detail.